Hi baby, I miss you so much and I wish you're laying here with me. This woman wants to know if her online boyfriend is true. person's name is Noah Humphrey. He comes off as a very attractive man, yeah. Noah was working on a Navy ship and needed a plane ticket to come see Gloria. Noah told me that he was a shipwright. If his agent just had this amount of money, he would buy him the ticket. And he had a box of $300,000? He told me he had sent this package, and I'm like, what is in this package? And he told me $300,000. Is Noah Gloria's Prince Charming, or will this all end in heartbreak? I'll just create the tracker and send that to Noah. It looks like he clicked it. Our team will even confront the person behind stealing Gloria's money face to face. Who the hell is you? How do you feel about going on YouTube? Everything's recorded. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your engagement with our videos help us reach new audiences and can potentially stop other people from being scammed. All right, so today's case is from a woman named Gloria. She's been communicating with a man claiming to be 53 years old and goes by the name of Noah. I'll read a little bit of her email. She says, a few months ago on POF, a person by the name of Noah Humphreys messaged me and said he was from Omaha. Can you please help me verify this man Thank you in advance for any help or advice that you can give me. Thank you, Gloria. Hi, Catfish. I'm Gloria. I'm 53, and I work in retail. I have three kids. Two of them are grown, and I have one still left at home. Let's see. My boys are grown. The oldest one is 32, and I pretty much just work, just do things with the family, and we'll go fishing and camping. We'll go out to my dad's pond a lot. And there's a lot of catfish in there. I don't really go do too much of that since my, most of my kids are grown and they have their own families. <laughs> I want to travel. I want to do something with somebody. I want to find somebody. My husband passed away about seven years ago, had lung cancer, and he had got pneumonia. Well, I actually met my father, my daughter's father online. Like when POF first came out, like about 20 years ago, maybe. He was just really extremely funny. It took me about two weeks to meet him. And we were together for 12 years. He and I, we were, we were best friends. He was a great dad. Yeah, he's, he was a good, he had a really good heart. After he passed away, it was hard financially. And so it was kind of a, a huge change, not having his presence here, for sure. After Gloria's husband passed away, she was left alone. She took some time to grieve her loss and eventually built up enough courage to start online dating. I had started, oh, probably about five years ago, dating online. I really wasn't meeting anybody, so I kind of gave up on dating online. And then this person messaged me, and the um, person's name is Noah Humphrey. And when he first messaged me, it was just, uh, I think, hi, how are you? Noah is 53 years old. He is bald headed. He has um, a beard. He has brown eyes. And he is like 5'10. He's a very, he comes off as a very, attractive man yeah he seemed to be a very caring person and um what i found attractive about him was that he seemed pretty intelligent hi baby i miss you so much and i wish you're laying here with me he had told me he had lost his daughter in a drunk driving accident and then he told me that that's what had led to his divorce and he had moved to san diego gloria and noah chatted every day after getting to know each other for a few weeks, Noah told her about a job that his father helped him get in Nebraska. The job was a contract with the Navy, so he packed all of his stuff and moved from San Diego to Nebraska. Noah told me that he was a shipwright. He works on ships. Apparently, he told me he works in the engine room, and when he does talk about these ships, he goes into detail about the ships, like there is some type of knowledge about ships of some type 
we talked about how he became a shipwright, how he chose that profession. His dad taught him how to work on the ships, but he claims he contracts through the Navy. And he told me that he has even contracted to Norwegian Navy. He was on a Navy ship and it was headed toward Australia. But his phone broke. So all he has is his tablet. So he can only get signal every once in a while. Once Noah got on the ship to Australia, Gloria lost contact with him. After a week, she received a text message from him letting her know that he had made it to Australia. But when Noah took on his second contract was when the problems began to come into play. He told me he took the contract to get the money to get home. He told me that this contract, it wouldn't probably be up now until December. He was going to get a plane when that contract was up and come to Kansas City Airport. He showed me an airplane itinerary, I guess, from Australia to San Diego. And then from San Diego, he was supposed to have went to Kansas City Airport because he wanted me to pick him up. I said, you haven't said anything about coming home. Are you still coming home? And he said to me, I didn't want to disappoint you, but my agent canceled my tickets because I owed him money. And then um, he told me that if his agent just had this amount of money, he would like, I think it was $800 or something, that he would go ahead and buy him the ticket. At first I said no. And then he totally changed. Like he went into this whole guilt trip thing and told me that I put my bills before I put him, he just had a whole meltdown about it, and he did make me feel pretty guilty about it. You really hurt me, I told they was going to terminate my ticket, and you said all I wanted was your money, or blinded by the past. After the guilt trip thing, I did send him the money. I sent Noah $800, and then he needed an additional $60 to cover the fees. I went to the gas station and sent it through the Bitcoin machine but he told me he had sent this package and i'm like what is in this package and he told me it was clothes a brand new phone and um he was in some documents and then like a week a couple days went by probably three or four and then he finally says well i put some money in that package i'm like well how much money do you think you put in there and he told me three hundred thousand dollars and then that's when I started like thinking, okay, there's nobody sends $300,000 in a package to a stranger that they've never met. And who pays you $300,000 in cash? Noah is stuck in Australia until he finishes this contract. According to him, he'll be there till December. Gloria doesn't want to wait for Noah to finish his contract in December to find out the truth about this man. She reached out to us to verify if this is her Prince Charming or just another romance scammer. I do want to know if he's real or if he's just out there scamming other people. My head tells me he's not real, but I think my heart wants him to be. Yeah, I just feel like I want to know the truth. Like, I just really want to kind of know like who am I really talking who was that who am I really talking to the one thing I am grateful for is that you know I see so many people losing thousands of dollars I only lost 860 <laughs> so that's kind of a silver lining because you know I feel lucky that it wasn't more than that our team got together to go over everything that Gloria was able to provide to help determine if this man's stories were legitimate Something else she mentioned was he wasn't, he was supposed to come home July 12th, but he never showed up. Never showed up. Okay. And then also she sent crypto? Yes. So she sent $860 to a Bitcoin wallet through an ATM. So if we can access those transactions, there may be some way for us to look into where those funds went. Mm -hmm. And then I'll just create the tracker and send that to mm -hmm. Noah. Sound good? Sounds great. Let's go All team. Right. We took some time and waited for Gloria to send everything that we needed. And after a few days, it was time for our team to start running some searches. So we received a bunch of images for Noah and what we need to do is confirm who he is. She also shared with us his social media profile through Instagram. 
So this account's a little strange. The follower's really low and the following count's much higher. So there's not a lot for us to really gain from here because the account's private, but even if we did get in, there's no posts. So that image that I just shared with you, I ran a reverse image search through Social Catfish and I found tons of matches here. And it looks like they're found on several dating sites. If we open up one here, she knows him as Noah, but let's see what his name is on this dating site. Mark, and he's from Atlanta, where she knows him as Noah from Australia. And so if we click into this dating profile as well, his name is Frank Jacksonville. So a bunch of red flags. We're gonna have to run multiple images and figure out his true identity. Thankfully, we had multiple images to run to find out who this man in these images really was. This is the best case scenario if you're looking to find someone's real profiles when doing an image search. Gloria had been sending crypto. We have a few different transactions. We have the dates, we have the amounts, and we have the wallets. I can look into the transaction history of that wallet and be able to trace the funds so we can see where the funds really ended up. I mean, best case scenario is that these transactions lead to a main exchange wallet. Right. Using our crypto tools, we would be able to pinpoint where exactly Gloria's money had went after she sent it to this crypto wallet. But the biggest issue we needed to deal with is this $4,930 this parcel company was requesting from Gloria. We needed to act fast in case she planned on sending any more money. So in addition to everything I've already shared with you, we have this email address. The story is, is that she's had this shipping company that's been reaching out to her via email. They've been pressuring her. They're telling her, we need you to send $4,930 and you'll be able to receive this shipment. And she's just extremely confused. One thing I can see about this email is they're asking her to come to their office in New Zealand, almost making it really inconvenient for her to even see if this company is legit. So that right away is really suspicious to me. I'll be able to run that email and tell if it's a legitimate email to a business or not. Another part of this is that Gloria is only talking to Noah on Skype and she has been willing to give me access to her Skype. And there is a lot of love bombing. You know, I have feelings for you. I love you. I miss you. So there's a lot of that. So I've been messaging him already because I'm trying to send him this IP tracker link and I found something that would show my love for Noah. It's a picture of kisses. Hey baby, um, just thinking about you. I love and miss you. And then I sent the link. He just messaged back. So he's flirting. He's saying, don't flatter me, so. It looks like he clicked it. I'm gonna go in and check the results of the link right now. And then we're gonna know where Noah really is. Our team felt we had everything we needed. With this information, we were going to be able to come up with some cold hard facts to back Noah being Gloria's Prince Charming or just another romance scammer. It's a real relationship for her and so we need to be able to give her that clarity that she needs. Yeah, let's do it. Just well. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, give this video a like too. Two days later, we set up another interview with Gloria to go over everything that we had found. Gloria, how's it going? It's going okay. Just okay. Just okay, pretty good. Yeah. Well, what was your, are you nervous? I'm just a fidgety person, I think. You weren't thinking about this meeting that we're having while you were at work? Well, yeah, I, I thought about that too. <laughs> what were you thinking? I kept thinking if he clicked that thing, if the IP thing, <laughs> tracker, so you had mentioned that you communicated with Nigerian scammers in the past. Tell me a little bit more about that. One, well, basically really one particular one tried to say he was somebody else. <laughs> and he finally, he just admitted it, but. Did you send any money to these people that you met? No, no was the only person I ever sent money to. Do you think that's what makes him different? I think what makes him different is um, that he talks different. In the very beginning, the conversations that he had was different. Yeah, I've seen the chats. It looks like there's a lot of love bombing. Lately here, it's not really the conversations that it used to be because I haven't really talked to him too much because he's really cussing at me again. I, I kind of, I just went off and told him basically he was a scumbag person, but. <laughs> Gloria, what, what is, what exactly is he promising you? 
um, just to basically come home. <laughs> so what do you what do you think when he comes home? What do you think is going to happen? I don't know really what would happen because hopefully he would it would be the nice Noah, not the one that would cuss me out. But I'm kind of thinking probably be the one that would be cussing me out. The reason why I asked you what is he promising you is, you know, he's supposed to come and see you at some point. You guys are expecting to have, you know, some kind of relationship, right? In your head. You yeah. wouldn't have reached out to us unless you wanted that at some point. Right. So in your yeah. mind, he comes home, you guys have a relationship, but he's already a little abusive to you. He's already <laughs> telling you a bunch of lies. Gloria, what are, right. what are we doing? What are we doing? <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> I know it's ridiculous. <laughs> well, what is it? I, I just need to verify that he's full of crap, I guess, even though I kind of know it. <laughs> you can put a percentage to how you feel that he is real and how you feel that he is not real. Where, where are you at? I'm probably at about 80% not real and 20% maybe. And what are you hoping? that maybe he's real, but I just can't believe how stupid I was. Because it's a little embarrassing. It's embarrassing that you want to find the truth? No, it's embarrassing that I even found myself in this situation. Don't take this the wrong way, but do you really want a man that bad? No. <laughs> no, because there's the thing. <laughs> I have, a, I have a friend <laughs> that I do spend time with, but it's not serious or nothing like that. So I don't need to have Noah particularly, no. Gloria, the search team and Brienne have all worked really hard in pulling some of this information for you. We have okay. all of the facts that you are okay. looking for. We have the truth. Are you ready? I'm ready. Whatever it is, I'm ready. Okay, so Gloria, we looked at the information you sent over to us for the shipping company and you sent us the email and so we ran this through our reverse email search tool and we were able to confirm that this was a risky email. And so when an email is, is at the risky level, we typically see that when, it's, when an email is newly recognized on Google. And so what that means is there, is there are no social media accounts attached to this email. And so why would a shipping company that's been around for quite some time have a newly created email? Right, yeah. So that was one of the red flags we found. Well, my red flag with it was they didn't have a phone number. And then, so how are you supposed to connect to customer support? Right. So it's probably a good thing that you didn't send the, what, $4,000? I do feel better about that, yeah. What you did send money for, Gloria, is the plane ticket. Right, yeah. So yeah. Let, let's talk about the crypto. Okay. He asked you to send money. Uh, I ended up sending it to Magnus Dean, who's his agent. Where did the money come from, Gloria? Well, it came from my bank account, <laughs> some money that I had saved. Well, we looked at the crypto wallet that you sent over to us and we noticed the transactions that you mentioned and we were able to trace these transactions back to a specific exchange. And this exchange is called Qcoin. And so what we did is we created a graph for you. We even labeled each of the transactions. And so this is actually best case scenario because what you're gonna wanna do after our phone call is to take our final report and move it forward with law enforcement to see if there's any way that they can track down the funds in, in the wallet where the funds had been transferred to. Okay. I mean, it's, there's no guarantee that you're going to ever see that money again, but that's, right. that's your best foot forward in this scenario. Okay. I mean, technically, it was only $860 from what you mentioned prior is that it wasn't a lot of money, and so you may be able to move forward and recover from this. Yeah, I'm not going to die over a hundred and sixty dollars you know i'm just glad it wasn't tons of thousands of dollars you know 
With that being said, what could you have used $860 on? Any type of bill, <laughs> groceries, <laughs> um, you know, just everyday stuff, I guess. But it, even though it was just $860, this is how it starts, Gloria. So he's going to tack on more things. He's going to say, hey, I'm closer to you. I'm getting, I need this much more. This is how it all begins. This is, you know, I, I remember you stating, I didn't send, you know, thousands of dollars like these other people that are on our show, but this is where it begins. And then you start to get so deep to where you just want to get your money back. And then from there, you start sending larger amounts and larger. And that's, that's where it was headed at some point. Yeah, he's going to want more money eventually. Well, if the shipping company is fake and the emails are fake mm -hmm. and you heard about the crypto, where is this going now, Gloria? <laughs> he's fake too. <laughs> we have a few more pieces of information we want to show you. And then we're going to get to the IP okay. tracker, OK? OK. Which leads us into Noah's profile. You're 80, 20%. I want to get you to the 100%. Okay. And this is how I'm going to get you to the 100% because we ran his image through reverse image search. A million matches came back for this guy. And his real name is Russ. Okay. Everything that the scammer sent was stolen from this man's Instagram account. And the video she received from him with the excuse that he wasn't going to be able to make it back from Australia again was altered with AI. You really hurt me. I told they was going to terminate my ticket. And you said all I wanted was your money or blinded by the past that you want ruined your future. This person behind this profile ran this image through a free app you can get on your phone, then layered it with a voiceover. He has nothing to do with the scam. He is not even the same person that you have been talking to. He has his own life. He's a completely separate person, not related to this. Okay, I believe that. How does this make you I, feel? I kind of feel relieved about it because now I know. Do you want to see his profile? Sure. So this is the profile of the real of the man. The real per. okay, yeah. He does take a lot of pictures of his underwear and the tidy whities yeah. <laughs> so. Does the man of your dreams wear tidy whities Gloria? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I, I want to talk to you about how you gave me access to your Skype account. And I yeah. chatted a little bit with Noah, and I sent him the IP tracker. Uh-huh. Noah is located in Katsina, Nigeria. That's what I figured. That he was Nigerian. <laughs> I asked him <laughs> so many times. Okay. I'm 100% there. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. So how do you feel about this person that's lied to you for six months now? He's tricked you into sending money. How does all this make you feel knowing that it's all fake? Well, I know it's weird to say this, but I feel like I, it's kind of like some type of relief that now I can just kind of move on and like be like, I'm done with that. Anytime anybody had ever asked me for money, I automatically would click block and move on. But with no way, I've kept talking to him. Even though it was a disaster at times, and I just, and that normally I would never put up with something like that. So I don't know why I put up with him. If you decide to online date moving forward, what are some red flags that you're going to look out for? I don't know. I think I'm probably not going to be online dating for a while. <laughs> probably just stick with Jason. Is Jason your boyfriend? Well, he's not really my boyfriend. He's my friend that we hang out with every once in a while. We do things together. Yeah, I had already, I told Jason about this whole thing. <laughs> so he knew about it. Do you feel like 
this scammer that you were communicating with was getting in the way of you and Jason? I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know. Well, it sounds like it. <laughs> he probably was. And he's, is he nice to you? He's, yeah, Jason's a nice person. He's a very nice, sweet person. Good. I mean, let's focus on that relationship more. Yeah. <laughs> so. Time to block Noah. Mm-hmm. It is time to block Noah. Yeah. I think you guys did a great job, and thank you for finding out the truth <laughs> so that I can move on and let that go. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. After revealing everything we found out, Gloria confronted the scammer about all of the lies he had been feeding her. This man in these images wasn't coming back from Australia to meet Gloria in December, and she was fully aware of it. After Gloria sent this message, this person behind this fake profile opened up about everything. So, I'm going to see my morning face. This is my morning face. I don't really know what to say, but here is my view. This guy not only sent this video, he also sent images of himself. We still had Gloria's Skype login, so Brianne and I took over her chats and began to communicate with the scammer. Of course, this guy automatically began to talk about Gloria getting him a visa so he could get to America. We baited him to getting on a video chat and Brianne posed as Gloria. Can you hear me? But what about you coming to America? Yeah, I need to do that. I need, I need to get a passport or some stuff. Help. How, how long will that take? How long do you need to get a passport? Yeah. You need. How much? How much for a passport is like um forty five three hundred dollars. Well, what's on your mind? I mean, do you do you promise you wanna you wanna be with me? As soon as Brienne brought up the visa, this guy turned his camera on right away. He was serious. Do you feel like we're getting closer? I feel closer to you, even before you you know who I was. I already felt like I know you. I can tell you anytime. Or anytime. And I will come. Yeah. yeah. I've always felt crazy. If you come to America, can we can we be together? Yes, we can be together. But where am I coming there to do? What about the the other women here in the United States? Other women? Nobody knows my identity. Yeah, that's true. I like your house. I pay my brother's house. That's your brother's? Yeah. Nice cool. Can you see me? Yeah. Let me get ready really quick. I, I just want to look good. What? I, like, let me, let me, let me get ready really fast. What? I want, I want to look good. Hold on. Am I revealing myself? Yeah. The guy thought he was communicating with Gloria the whole time. Well, he was about to have a rude awakening. Henry. Who the hell is you? Me? Who the hell is you? I'm Gloria's friend. You're Gloria's friend? Gloria's friend, yes. Can I explain something to you? Yes. Okay. Gloria's reached out to me and our team uh, she felt like she was involved in an online romance scam, and that's why she came to us. Yeah, she already said that to the whole team. She did. You used to be a person by the name of Noah. She did share with me 
the her Skype account, so I am aware of the chats. I did send you an IP tracker, and that's how we found out you were located in Nigeria. And we do have your pictures, your video. We have everything. Okay. Do you have anything to say about it? Like what? Pretending to be Noah, talking to other people online, pretending to be someone else. What do you want me to say about that? Well, Henry, how do you feel about going on YouTube? Everything's recorded. No, <laughs> done out. <laughs> <laughs> well, Seekers, looks like we were successful in stopping another romance scam, but we have something special. We are going live to share our conversation we had with the scammer and to figure out why exactly Gloria still hasn't blocked this guy. So join us this Thursday at 3 p.m. Pacific. If you have been involved in a romance scam, don't forget to report it. It helps get the word out and potentially stops other people from being scammed. Thanks for watching. Don't forget all of our new videos go out every Wednesday. If you like this video, subscribe. And if you wanna see more, you should probably click one of these two videos.